You are a silly Billy. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Mom with Victoria. For those of you who are new, thank you for stopping by. And if you do see something that you like, don't hesitate to subscribe, give me a shout out, and ask me a question. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. The numbers are going up and I do appreciate you. Today I want to come to you with some skirts. We know as female, we have lots of skirts in our closet. For those of you, of course, who are a skirt lover, like I am. So today I want to show you some ideas how you can pull your skirts from your closet and style it with some simple basic tops. The top I'm wearing is from Zara, it's, from, it's in a size large. And the skirt I'm wearing is a size 14 from The Gap. It's a cotton skirt and it has a three tier. So it fits me right below my, um, my knees. For some of you, this may be a maxi skirt for you. It has two pockets. I'm gonna pair this with a pair of jelly sandals that I have. I've had these sandals for years, guys. These are from the brand Katy Perry. And it's just a watermelon on the top of it. When these were available, they were in many colors and they were absolutely beautiful and I must say very, very comfortable. So I'll be starting this with these, with this outfit that I'm wearing. You may choose to pair an outfit like this with any flat sandals that you have. And I would ambitiously say any color you choose. Go ahead girls. This is outfit number one. Here is the next skirt guys and I don't even know why I bothered to try this skirt on but this, I just want to make an example of this um, of myself in this skirt. This skirt as you can see it's brand new. This is from um, J. Crew, and this is several um, several years old. I would say three or four years old. And this is how long I've had this skirt live in or set in my closet. Um, it doesn't have any stretch and because of that, although it's a size 12, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit on um, me, it's too tight. It's just too tight and it's not flattering for me. It just gives me tight and um, everything that I don't want. It's a lovely skirt though and it's a size 12. If you do like the skirt, guys, I'm willing to sell the skirt. If you like the skirt, this is a size 12. It's a brand new skirt. I got the skirt um, from, from, from J. Crew, and I got a dress, a matching dress for my daughter from Crew Cuts. And it was a mom, mom and daughter event that I wanted to do. But the skirt, the moment it came, it never fit. And I kept it thinking that it would, I would wear this one day. and. I realized, no, I'm not going to wear the skirt because once it doesn't have any stretch for me, it doesn't work. And this is a size 12. I should have up for a size 14, but I didn't. So this skirt will be, I'll be selling. So you can contact um, me through email or I'm going to also link my friend, um, friend's email for you where you, where you can sh also shop her, her plastic. Just too tight, guys. Just too tight. It's not ready. It's not ready. And I've been waiting for four years for this to fit. This has to go. Thank you. Outfit number two. Well, skirt number two. Thank you, guys, for watching. Here is skirt number three, guys. This skirt is a size 14, and it's from Banana Republic. I want you to see the design on this skirt guys and I hope I'm able to show it to you this is a size 14 and um, it's also 
tighter in the hips as it is in the waist. And again, I'm just wearing a regular underwear that sits on the top of my skirt. The reason why I did not choose to wear one of my um, compression um, briefs or underwear is that when it compresses my midsection, it also brings that um, muffin top up to the top of my, um, my um, crop, my crop top. And then I won't have any control of how I can hold my stomach in because it's already been held in by compression, by the compression of, with the compression of the, of the underwear. And then gives me no um, play area to, to, to uh, adjust my body the way I, I want to. So I choose to not wear one of my compression briefs, and that's why you are getting my midsection, which is okay. This is a size 14 skirt, guys. This is a Banana Republic. It's beautiful. This goes to show you guys, when you're shopping online, Make sure you read the description part of the of the the, of the the item you want to purchase. For example, a skirt. Make sure you go where it says details, product detail, and you can read how many percentage of 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 of, of um, stretch like lycra um, it has in it, and how many percentage of um, of cotton, of linen, whatever the fabric is. You should you should read up this, guys, because when you read up this, you can know exactly what to get I think it's best to get a skirt that is um, bigger than tighter because when you get it tight there's no there's hardly any room for you to adjust make any adjustment but if it's but if it's bigger you can make an adjustment you can bring it to your seamstress you can do it yourself if you have a sewing machine or you can use your hands and just make some some neat um, darts in the, the waist of it to take it in So this size 14 skirt fits in the hips and everywhere else, but big in the waist. But at least it's a 14, so it gives a little wiggle room. So when you're ordering, um, guys, make sure you read the labeling and make sure that you, it's best to up a size in your bottoms, especially if you know you're very, um, you have, uh, you're very curvy. It's better to go up a size than to go your exact size because if you love that outfit you're going to be heartbroken like I have in many pieces that I have this is outfit. this is skirt number three guys this one has no no pockets but it has a zipper on the side skirt number three all right guys welcome back this is outfit number four Outfit number four is a skirt from Young, Fabulous, and Broke. It's a contemporary brand. You can find them online if you Google Young, Fabulous, and Broke YFB. The skirt checks all the points that I needed in my skirt. It's midi, so it's very modest. It has two pockets. And what's intriguing about this skirt it has, is that it has a drawstring. So I'm able to adjust the skirt to wherever I want it to be. If I want it to be higher rise or just a rise that sits right atop my, um, my belly button. The skirt is airy. I compare this with any sandals of, color sandals of my choice, any flats of my choice. Because of the richest in the color, and it's solid, it can go with just about anything. The skirt is in a size large, guys. We don't want check for you. I stand corrected, guys. This skirt is a small. And I must uh, also say that this bronze brand sometimes runs very, very big. This is a small, guys. I 
I hope you're able to see it. So if you do come across a skirt online and you'd like to purchase it, if you are size 12, between a 12 and a 14, you can get away with the, the small in the skirt. If you are size 16 and, and, and between a size 16, 16 or a size 14 and 16, you get the medium and so on. And if you have your sewing machine, if you are a seamstress or you are a, a tailor, you can adjust the skirt to your liking. This skirt is a size small. Love, love outfit number four. And of course, all these skirts I'm styling with my basic Zara crop top or mm, it's a crop top, but it's not so crop. And my trusted necklace my bracelets, and a simple earring. You can choose to, to pull out your um, statement necklaces. I hear um, someone said that statement necklaces are not in anymore. And I hear some people say you can still wear them. But if you've invested in some statement necklaces, pull those necklaces out, wear them on your neck. They're yours, you bought them, and you need to get your money's worth. Wear them, it's how you feel. Outfit number four, guys. Here's the next one, guys. This one is the pleated skirt. Remember this pleated skirt that we've had? I think they, maybe two, two season, two, two years ago or so, these, these pleated skirts. I'm selling this one today which is a basic tank top, as high as I can get it. And to make sure that a little peak of skin is showing, a little peak of my skin. guys you bought this when you bought this you loved it pull it out style them it's 2022 but we're still gonna style them as a matter of fact let's take that back we're not talking about the year even if you're watching this video and it's 2030 and you have this pleated skirt in your closet, you're going to be wearing it. As long as there's no stain, no rips, no pilling, no threads are missing, no bleach stain on the planet, pull it out and wear it. These pieces we don't dump these in the garbage, guys. We don't do that. We hand these down to the next lady that we have raised next woman that we know will take care of it. I have another pair. Well, it's not a pair. I have another pleated skirt in navy blue. My friend has every color in her closet. And again, I'm going to link her email address and you can email her she'll send you a photograph of the the skirt or anything that you'd like in your closet just describe it if you see it here just tell her and in an email she'll take a photograph of it she'll send it to you by email and then she can ship it to you wherever you are in the world this one is a size 14 guys and it's um, J Crew. it's from J Crew, and we know the quality pieces that J. Crew makes. So this skirt is gonna be living for many, 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 many more years. We know it's not a living thing, of course. We know that fabric isn't living. It's not a living thing, but 
I don't know what to say, so I just said the word liquid. Oh, this skirt is everything. I don't want to take it off, guys. I did a hack to this skirt. Um, so what I did, this skirt is clearly as you are seeing now, the skirt is falling from my waist because it's a size 14. So what I do, I kind of tighten the skirt as tight as I possibly can handle it. And as tight as it can be, so I still don't get a muffin top because we don't want to be something to be too, so tight that we get a muffin top. And then you're going to take a safety pin. This one is a bit too small. The pin that has the head, this one's a bit too small. So it's, it, it keeps opening. But you can get, you can order these safety pin online um, on Amazon. And what you could do is simply just take a safety pin and just adjust this, the waist to your liking. And remember, not too tight because we don't want to get the, the muffin tops. Okay? Wear it as high as you possibly can. And ladies, put on your crop tops. One like I'm wearing. This one is large and it stretches. And just a, a small, a sliver of my um, peak of my skin is showing. And because of that, I still feel elegant. I feel ladylike. I feel ladylike. I hope you like this one, guys. All right, guys, here is the final outfit. And this is um, a black circle skirt. Uh, remember those days, guys? Every girl. Well, I think a lot of ladies, a lot of you girls, had, had to have the circle skirt. There were lots of YouTube videos on how to make the circle skirts, and those of you who are very talented and who can sew would be making their circle skirts. And I, I wasn't confident, confident enough to make one because I, I, I'm not that good, but I purchased one. And this one is of high, high quality, well made. So, skirt, circled skirts came, they left, but mine stayed with me because I could not part with this. Because this, bring this brings me a lot of joy and memory. And I said, I'm not giving away the skirt, not, not parting with the skirt. I'm going to hand the skirt down to, to you know someone who will appreciate it. This skirt to size 10. Ah, and I absolutely love this skirt. I've had this skirt since 2014, guys. Yes, and I remember clearly 2014 because I remember this young lady, when I wore this skirt, this young lady, she saw me in this skirt and she said to me, my mommy has the same skirt like that. Miss Belle, my mommy has the same skirt like that. And I said, oh, thank you. Thank you for liking my skirt. And I, I'm sure mommy loves her skirt too. And from that day, the little girl and I had a great relationship because of this skirt. Um, and so this skirt brings, brings back a lot of memory. And I, I absolutely love this skirt. This is outfit. This is the last outfit, guys. And I hope you are inspired to take your skirts out of your closet. This old edition that I'm trying to create is to, to show you guys that we don't have to go out and spend every year <clears throat> when a new season comes around. What we can do is to shop our closet. And I've been shopping my closet. And I've also been shopping my friend's closet. And she has some pieces that she she would like to, to, to sell. So if you would like um, to purchase anything that you see that I've shown from my friend's closet. You can also um, contact her in the email below. She'll send you a photograph of it. You can make your exchange there and um, she'll ship it to you. I hope you're blessed. I hope that you will continue to stay. I hope you love the content that I've created for you. And um, if you have not yet um, subscribed, please do so. 
please follow this please share this video with you, with your friends let the numbers go up because i'm here to to inspire you i'm here to show you that we all can can look fabulous and 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 um stay within our stay within our budget have a great day guys as always victoria and i say thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one thank you